Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. And as expected, guess who's joining us? They're here! We actually already had quite a bit of an adventure today. We went and saw uh, Mallory's school so they could see the classrooms. Now we're back at the apartment after I got lost driving by myself. And uh, Mal has got a gift for you guys. Sort of a late anniversary present. I'm sitting in the famous the Stephen fame, couch. The, well, the Stephen the couch, yeah. <laughs> I think we have to switch places though. Yeah, I know we'll sit on that side. <laughs> yep, gotta switch. I'm glad that that was important enough to actually do. <laughs> this is actually my good side. That Look, Monica. Very cool. That's nice. Yeah. Watch out for the sharp point back. <laughs> do they know what? Do you know what that bottle's from? I don't know. Wine. That was a bottle from your wedding. Oh yes. Really? That is awesome. There's still some wine residue in there. <laughs> After getting heated up to 2,000 degrees, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, you can put cheese on it, you can use it as a spoon rest, or hang it on the wall, or whatever you, you want to do. Did you do this? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. That's nice. That There's a little cool. sharp on the back I couldn't sure. get. That is really cool. Because I would like to <laughs> actually frame it and put something from our wedding on there. Yes. If I would have, I took the labels off, I should have kept them. And then like glued it back on, but yeah. I accidentally threw away. And then thought of it. That's cool, thank you. Very cool. You're welcome. Look at Key. <laughs> we came to Bistro 90. It's, uh, it's a place that Mal and I have known about for a long time, but we've never tried. Um, and Mark got an appetizer of mussels. Mal and I have never had mussels, and uh, we got to try them out. I had one. Mal put another one on my plate. Ignore that one. But I had one, and it was, it was okay. Mal apparently really likes them because she's on, like, number six or seven or something. They're... <laughs> It's not something I would order. It's not something I would order my, myself. This was named after the place. It's um, chicken and linguine. It's a pesto alfredo with uh, roasted red uh, peppers and mushrooms. It's good. What is yours? I tried it, but chicken I don't marsala? even know. Just chicken marsala. Okay. It was good. But you liked mine better. <laughs> mine was good. What do you have over there? I, I have sea bass. Sea bass. It was really good. Okay. Yours looks good. And Rhonda, you have... I have the, the crazy salad, which yes. is my go-to summer salad. But since it feels like summer here, it's appropriate, <laughs> even in October. After our dinner, uh, Mal and I came back here. Mark and Rhonda went to go check in their hotel for the evening. And um, we had some time. I had stuff set for the next few days. So I was like, hey, let's watch a movie. And we were going to watch a movie. But then I decided, since Mal wants to start playing Last of Us, well... She started playing Last of Us, so we had some ice cream, uh, and then Mal started The Last of Us. How long did you play? Like about an hour? Yeah. Probably about it's an hour. It's good. I like it. Yeah. It's it's hard watching someone else play. It's it's weird because I'm when I play I'm like super super thorough. Like I I scout like all the locations and when there's people talking, like I'll sit there and just listen to them talk. And Mal's play style is different. So it's really, really hard to watch her play because I'm like, why, did, why didn't you just sit there and listen to those people talk? And she's like, I don't know. I didn't think about it. You know, I'm following this person or doing this. And uh, it's just, it's kind of difficult. So I won't be watching her all the time. The reason she started it, she's been waiting to start it um, because I didn't want her to start playing it and then get further than me. And then there'd be a chance I get spoiled on something. So what, um, where I'm at now in the game, I'm going to finish it next week. Um, I'm just, I'm really, really close to finishing it. So I said, you should go ahead and start it because you're not going to pass me up at this point. So I've been getting really, really far ahead in, in Let's Play stuff. Uh, really far ahead, like finally, thank God. So uh, I'm going to finish it next week and then, then it, it should be done. And then I'm going to get a few other things taken care of, get everything edited, uh, situated, finished, and then uh, I'll be starting uh, to work on Eco. So uh, I'll make sure that Eco is actually the LP that follows Last of Us, which is exciting. Good. Yes, I know, right? People have been asking about it for how long? Months and months and months and months. Sorry, everyone. It is coming. Um, anyway, tomorrow's agenda, uh, Mark and Rhonda are going to come over here. We are going to um, take them to Brook Green Gardens, which is the place I proposed to Mal. Um, how, how many times does this make that we've been there? Just three, right? Yes. 
Because we went, obviously, the day I proposed, and then we went for Christmas last year? Two years. Two years ago. And uh, now we're going back because they'd like to see it. So uh, they're going to get over here probably around noon, so we're going to uh, maybe get a bite to eat and then go to the gardens. And then tomorrow evening we're going to have dinner with my parents and then probably go back to my parents' house and, I don't know, play games and have dessert or something. So it'll be fun. Uh, just kind of nice to spend time with them because we don't see them very often. We're going to see them at Christmas, but the last time we saw them was Ireland, which was in March, May, March, April, something. Way back, six over six months ago, so it's a very, very small amount of time we get to see them compared to you know my parents, who we see several times a week. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? PAX tickets completely sell out within like two days. The multi-day passes sell out in like no time. I mean no time. It, it's amazing how fast they go. Put these singers in chronological order of their births, starting with the earliest. Tina Turner, Ricky Martin, Katy Perry, Sting. I have no well, idea on some result. of them. Correct? Correct? Yes. Very good? Good job, Mal! Thank you!